Another intervention that has been well studied is magnesium sulfate. How would this possibly work? During the acute cerebral ischemia, there's a large amount of excitotoxic amino acids, specifically predominantly glutamate that's released. This activates the NMDA receptors that operate calcium channels, and there's a large amount of calcium that flows into the cells. Increased intracellular calcium leads to cellular damage by activating proteases, lipases, and endonucleases. What magnesium sulfate does is it gates the NMDA channel and protects the brain from NMDA receptor mediated injury. We also know that it suppresses seizures and that in part is why uh, moms with preeclampsia are given magnesium sulfate. It is a bit of a vasodilator and it decreases the release of nitric oxide and the production of oxygen free radicals. This was initially recognized in 1995 in an article that was published in Pediatrics titled, Can Magnesium Sulfate Reduce the Risk of Cerebral Palsy in Very Low Birth Weight Infants? Apologize for the typo there. And this is an observational study. In the conclusion of this observational study, uh, in utero exposure to magnesium sulfate was more frequent in controls than in children with CP suggesting a protective effect of magnesium sulfate against cerebral palsy in these very low birth weight infants. So over the course of the next 15 years, multiple different studies were done, included five high quality prospective randomized studies. There's a Cochrane review that was published in 2009 that evaluated outcomes in more than 6,000 patients. And they compared uh, premature babies that were delivered after having received magnesium, their mothers had received magnesium versus control. And what was shown was for the outcome of cerebral palsy, there's a relative risk reduction to 0.68 that was statistically significant and a reduction in gross motor skill dysfunction with a relative risk of 0.61 and again, statistically significant with a p-value of 0.003. There is no significant difference in infant mortality.